revelations at Vermont Yankee have raised many questions from my administration, the federal government, the legislature, the press, and most importantly, the Vermonters. The safe and reliable operation of the Vermont Yankee plant is an important part of our energy and economic future, and it's critical for those Vermonters whose jobs depend on its operation. My administration has made clear that we cannot support its relicensing without a favorable power agreement, a sound plan for decommissioning, and assurances about safety and reliability, which are, of course, our primary concerns. I continue to believe that these determinations must be left to the regulators at the state and federal levels. Decisions that impact so many Vermonters must be based on the best scientific information and evaluated objectively outside of the political fray. In all regulatory matters, there must be transparency and honesty from the regulated entity. When any of these elements are called into question, the regulatory process itself is compromised. What has happened at Vermont Yankee is a breach of trust that cannot be tolerated. In order to move forward on whether or not the plant will continue to operate, questions need to be answered, changes need to be made, and the trust of Vermonters must be restored. Energy now finds itself under investigation at every level. The NRC and our departments of health and public service are working with others to determine the source of the tritium leak and assess any safety and health implications. The Agency of Natural Resources is reviewing ongoing ground and surface water tests for environmental contamination. The Public Service Department is reinstituting its vertical, comprehensive, independent audit to fully assess the underground pipe system in cooperation with the Public Oversight Panel. The PSD is demanding an independent verification of the sufficiency of the decommissioning fund given the prospects of contaminated soil on the Vernon site. Today, the Public Service Board required energy to submit prompt and complete corrections to any inaccurate information it has provided and a description of what steps it will take to rectify the situation. And the Attorney General has launched an investigation to ascertain whether there's any criminal behavior by energy officials. I've spoken with Energy CEO Wayne Leonard, and he's assured me that he's taking recent revelations and discoveries seriously, and he has instituted a full and thorough investigation into this matter by an outside law firm. That's not good enough. We need action. If energy is serious about rebuilding Vermonters' trust and restoring its credibility, it must acknowledge its mistakes and make immediate corrections. Now is not the time for energy to circle its wagons. If it's serious about securing a future in Vermont, energy must be fully transparent and provide the state unfettered access to all its investigations, internal and otherwise. It must be willing to make personnel and records available to investigators and to waive any attorney, client, or other privilege that may attach to these investigations. Letting the sun shine in will be an important and powerful statement about the company's commitment to make things right. And like many Vermonters, I've lost trust in the current management team. And I've been disappointed that changes have not already been made. So today I'm calling on energy to make immediate, necessary changes in management as well. Until questions regarding the current circumstances are answered, decisions about the long-term future of the plan should not be made. I'm directing Commissioner O'Brien to request a stay from any further action by the Board on the annexus staff until the investigations have run their course and Vermonters can be confident in the transparency and honesty of the company's management. <clears throat> Further, with so many ongoing investigations, Unanswered questions and my own unease with previous information we've received from energy management, I can no longer ask legislators to vote this year on whether the Public Service Board should be allowed to decide the case for relicensing. Therefore, I'm calling for a timeout. Until energy reestablishes its credibility, we should not move forward on a decision of such importance to the safety of our people, to the livelihoods of so many and to the economic and energy future of Vermont. When we can again say with resolute clarity that we can depend on the management of the plant and ensure public health and safety, only then can we move forward with the consideration of the plant's long-term future. 
The ultimate question of Vermont Yankees' future is not being decided today, but the events of the last two weeks have raised dark clouds of doubt that must clear before we proceed. We have high expectations from the management of a nuclear power plant, and rightly so. Vermonters are understanding, but never suffer fools. We expect better, we deserve better, and now we demand better. The trust that's been broken can be repaired, but it must begin with swift and determined action, and it must begin today. I've invited Lieutenant Governor Duby to come this afternoon and offer a few thoughts on this situation as well. Brian. Thank you, Mayor. Well, Governor, first of all, thank you for your leadership and your team's leadership. If you're operating a nuclear, nuclear power plant or fly an airplane, safety must be your number one consideration. And with safety in mind, I'm very concerned about the 650 people who work in Vermont Yankee and their families and the small businesses in the area that depend on Vermont Yankee. I happen to have a cousin who's a member of the IPEW who works in Vermont Yankee. And it's out of his, my concerns for his future and his fellow employees that I support the governor in his call for action today. I support the governor when he calls for a timeout because there's been a breach of trust. There's been a breach of trust between the management and quite frankly, employees deserve better. The people of Vermont de deserve better. So I support the governor's call for a timeout in concern for those employees and their families and the people of Vermont and I support the governor who says, until we remove some clouds, we're not going to move forward. And with that statement, uh, I'll turn it, over, turn it back to the governor. <coughs> Thank you. I'm happy to take a question or two.